Hi everybody, welcome to Daisy and welcome to Red Falcon Flight Systems Heli's Flight Line. Look at this, I haven't got all of them out, but there's a few of them here. Um, but there's also a new heli that you can get, and that is the Mosquito. Now this is uh, particularly cool because it is a separate mod from the main helis mod. So it's a great way to add this fantastic looking kind of almost DIY little uh, single person open cockpit helicopter to your server. And in this video, I'm going to show you not how to install it. I've already done that. I'll put a link to my install video in the description below this, this video, but how to fix them. And uh, I tell you what, why don't we look at how to fly them as well? So what have we got here? So these two here are kind of they're all fixed up so they've got all the fuel and they've got all the bits in them and they've got the extra wooden crate and they've got the sea chest so if we go and have a look at them you'll see that what you need is you'll need a car battery you'll need a couple of car spark plugs you'll need the mosquito drive belt the mosquito wiring harness the oil filter and also you'll need some oil to top it up with oil probably at least two uh, containers of oil um, and then you can also add the uh, coal car bulbs if you want so you've got lights and you can add a sea chest and a wooden crate to give it uh, some storage as you're flying around um, the other things you could look out for as well are the toolbox now what the toolbox enables you to do is to repair parts of the heli so if they become damaged like the rotor or the uh, the rear rotor um, you can, as long as they're not ruined, if you've got a toolbox, you can um, you can repair those bits here. So I've kind of gathered together some of the bits here that you can see what they look like. On a server that is running uh, the Mosquito, these things should be spawning in and or around sort of airfields, industrial areas, that sort of things. But remember, the car battery is the ordinary car battery. The spark plugs are the ordinary car spark plugs and the headlight bulbs are ordinary headlight bulbs, unlike on the full RFS helis mod where uh, you've got to use special spark igniter haven't you and you've got to use a special battery so without further ado as you can see this uh, this baby is just a, a bare heli so let's get her up and running so first off let's wander over here and let's get the drive belt let's get an oil filter let's get a wiring harness let's get a couple of spark plugs and let's pick up the battery. We'll put it in our hands. Let's wander over here. Dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. Oop. Go in the inventory. So car battery goes in there. Spark plug goes in there. That spark plug goes in there. Scroll down a bit. Drive belt will go there. Wiring harness will go there. Oil filter will go there. We won't bother with a bulb. And right, oil, 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 oil. If you don't put oil in it. Um, the engine will damage and then die. So let's take uh, some oil. Okay, let's go back. Now the oil you should be put in after the oil filter has been put in. Um, and it's a little bit difficult to see where you've got to fill it up. But basically, if you stand on the side where the oil filter is, so there's the oil filter, and then you kind of look down when you've got oil in your hands, it will give you a prompt. There you go. So I'm kind of looking right at the oil filter now. It says refill hold. So we'll just dump this in here. Um, this is an air-cooled engine, so there's no need for any water or anything like that. Um, so as we put that one in there. And let's fill that one up there as well. Dumpty, 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 dum. And what you can do is if you want to check how much is oil is in it, if you get into the thing, if you look in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see um, there's the uh, speed, we've got the fuel, and then we've got the um, the oil. Uh, that, see, that should be really the oil temperature, shouldn't it? But it's not. It's, it's oil amount. Um, yeah. It, well, it would be oil temperature in a car, wouldn't it? Okay, so let's get out. So what we need to do is just add some fuel now as well. Let's go and get a fuel can. Um, and the fuel you add is on the left-hand side. So just kind of oop, look at here. I think it's oh actually no, is it on the right-hand side? It's on the sorry, it's on the right-hand side. There we go. Try not to. Uh, Try not to drink it. 
Bum, 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 bum. And I really like the look of this. I wouldn't mind seeing some kind of rusty skins as well. And I do understand that Red Falcon is working on a more modular sort of gyrocopter. Um, where you'll find the parts of the, the helicopter or the gyrocopter scattered around Cherner, sort of Oni or Deer Isle or wherever, and you'll put them, put it together, oop, put it together like a kit, um, which would, which would be pretty good. It kind of, kind of would really fit into uh, Daisy when it, you know, a DIY, <laughs> a DIY helicopter for the, uh, for the apocalypse. All right, so we, so we've got a fuel. So now let's get into the baby and let's, um, let's, let's fire. Up. Oh, and oh, sorry, the other things you may want to add. Is, uh, let's get the wooden crate. And then you could add the uh, sea chest as well if you had one. Right, let's get in. So, they are a little bit tricky to fly, uh, the helicopters, as you would expect. Um, but once you get used to them, um, they're they're fairly easy i think the important thing to always bear in mind with red falcons helicopters it's for me it's all about momentum and real and knowing how much momentum you've got in a particular direction and really just making sure that you're not gaining too much momentum in a particular direction um, um and keeping an eye on your altitude and importantly your rate of descent all right but i'll show you what i mean now the audio might it might get start getting a little bit difficult to hear me in a minute when I fire up the engine, but let's let's start her up by left on the map. You've got to wait for it to get up to speed. Now we control how fast we go up and how fast can we go down with the collective, which is that bar to the right of our altitude alt altimeter. Um, and when we get up to speed, I can use my mouse wheel to roll that up. And the centre line is kind of is the neutral position if the airplane is in, is in a neutral plane so i'm rolling it up now what you'll see is we're kind of not really going anywhere yet because we're in a neutral position but if we start taking that up a little bit you see we start going up slowly and if we put it back to a neutral position we'll start doing that now we want to get a little bit of altitude which we're always going to practice it and we're going a little bit backwards so you just want to tip forward a little bit with w basically you know Forward and back is just um, W and S, and then you can, you can kind of uh, go left and right with A and D, and then to swing your tail rotor around, um, what you do is you can either be flying forward like this, so you tip forward to fly forward, plenty of collective way to do that, and then you can just tip the aeroplane and it will slowly turn, or you can use Q and E to use a bit of tail rotor to kind of um, and when you start learning to fly these uh, helicopters, you get up nice and high like this and just practice manoeuvring. And just keep an eye on your altimeter. And look, you, what you're looking to see, just make sure you're not coming down too fast. It doesn't really matter how, far you, how high you go, you don't want to be coming down too fast. Okay, so we're up nice and high, so let's say we want to start moving forward, dead easy. All we do is we just tip the nose forward by hitting W, and then we can then start gaining momentum to go forward. But, if we haven't got enough collected, we will start to lose height fairly rapidly as well, so keep an eye on your height. And you can tip forward quite a lot. You don't want to keep your eye height, just drop your collective. But when you drop your collective with your mouse wheel, you can keep an eye on your rate of descent, make sure you're not dropping down too far. It's starting to drop now, so a little bit more. So let's just take a nice slow turn. And you just want to avoid extreme movements and just keep that momentum nice and simple. just to turn around okay so now let's say so we're coming towards the airfield obviously the beauty with the helicopter is you can land pretty much everywhere but we're going to try and land fairly close to where we took off so what we're going to start doing now is quite a long time in advance start thinking about coming down dropping down your ground you should, what you want to do is you want to be coming down reasonably slowly so if you've got my collective 
can see it's only just above neutral. Now I'm coming down pretty fast now if you look at the numbers. So what we want to do is we just want to take the collector up a bit just to reduce that rate of descent. So we're really slowing our rate of descent now. We can tip this the helicopter back a little bit so it doesn't go forward quite as much. But we're going up again now so we can take the collector down again. We're kind of round about where we want to be in terms of landing. So we're in a negative collective situation, so we're going to start coming down. As soon as it starts going a little bit fast, just put the collective up into a positive position, just to slow the rate of descent. Back down to neutral again. And coming down nice and slow. And then when you get when you hit the ground, bang that collective right down so you get the take up again. And left click, stop that engine. Lovely job, absolutely fantastic, nice and easy. And there, my friends, there is the uh, new Mosquito from Red Falcon. How to fix it up and how to fly it. Well, hopefully you find this video useful. If you have, hit like if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.